guys welcome back so today we are doing a fashion video which is so freaking exciting i haven't done one of these in such a long time and i miss them so we're gonna get back into it so today we're doing an inside the dressing room for the new target brand called wild fable i was so freaking excited when i saw this launch because it's literally 90s themed like the entire collection is like 90s clothing and it's amazing I love it so much I was so excited so I knew I had to do some sort of video on it I figured why not make it a little different a little fun and do an inside the dressing room so a couple things about it one I would say everything fits either true to size or a little bit big so if you're kind of around my size which I will have my normal sizes listed down below as well as all the sizes that I tried on in this video. Um, I honestly, a lot of the products or a lot of the items, I was getting into like mediums and they were fitting perfectly, especially the jackets because the jackets were very oversized. Um, but I was really surprised at how true to size, if not too big, items were fitting. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. Now, one of the reasons that I was so excited about this line is because, one, it's amazingly priced. Every single item is under $32. Jackets are $32, and then it just goes down from there. This includes jackets, shorts, t-shirts, dresses, uh, jumpsuits, shoes, bags, jewelry, belts. It, it's an entire gamut, okay? And I feel like the products that I tried on were a really good representation of the brand. So beyond the price, it was also really exciting because every single product is available in straight size and in plus size. Are you kidding me? That's freaking amazing. Brands never do that. You always end up with like random items over here and random items over here and they're never the same, but every single item is available in straight size and plus size, and I think that's amazing. So I believe this line goes up to a 4X, which is just, I love it. I love the body positivity movement and what it's doing in the fashion world. I think it's just, it's amazing, really. So I think that's all I need to say, so I'm gonna stop babbling and we'll get into the actual video. So if you wanna see what I tried on from the new Target, Wild Fable line, then just keep watching. Oh, also, real quick, um, this is my first type of video like this, and I never do voiceovers, so just bear with me, because this might be a little not great, <laughs> but I'll get better, I promise. Let's get into the video. I picked up these black jeans with like holes in the knees, and I picked up my normal size 12, and they were massive, like absolutely massive on me, at least a size and a half, like everywhere, they were massive. So not a fan of that, sorry about the <laughs> camera angle there. Um, plus they were really thin and just didn't feel like great quality. I don't think I would pay $20 for them personally. So after that, we've got these leggings, which again were massive. Now I did pay, grab these in an extra large, which was my mistake. They were super cute. They had this really cute like moto detail on them and I loved them. I just needed probably like a medium at least. One good thing though is that they weren't see-through at all. So if that's your plague on life then these might be good for you. This dress, oh my god I love this dress so much. It's so cute. It's got that little frilly faux uh, collar there. It ends at a really nice length, not too long, not too short. It has a great like natural flair to it so it doesn't hang at your hips at all because that's like my no-no zone. I don't want anything touching it and this dress looks amazing. I was so happy to find it. So I grabbed this jean jacket to put over it and I'm not sure I love this jacket but I didn't end up getting it. I might end up going back for it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this set. Oh my god. So this is a blush pink corduroy type two-piece set they said it's say it's corduroy but it's really more of like a velvet corduroy but it's so freaking soft and stretchy and really really cute I didn't love the skirt because it really did emphasize my stomach area which is just not my favorite part of my body at all but I really really liked it I did end up picking up the top because I thought it was really really cute 
Um, the skirt was way too big too, by the way. I got that. I picked that up in an extra large. So I threw this jacket over it. I would never wear this jacket with this set at all, but I just went ahead and threw it on. This is one of the most 90 things I've ever seen in my life, and I love it. Again, I didn't end up picking it up, but I will probably go back for it because it's freaking adorable, and I just, I need it in my life because it's that out there, but it was really, really large. I think I grabbed it in an extra large, and I needed, like, a medium. Again, super oversized, but really, really cute cropped denim jacket this set this was my clueless moment and i was really excited for it but it was a massive fail the skirt or it, actually it's a skirt was massive like i picked it up in an extra large because it does have a zipper and that's like normally what i go to when things have zippers but it was so large i would need maybe a medium at least the top though the top i was feeling myself as i'm sure you can tell um it does have that like scrunchiness to the back to make it a little stretchy but I picked it up in a large and it was like skin tight and I do have a fairly large chest just in case you're curious. This was like my first 100% this is coming home with me moment of the day. This little like one piece 70s tracksuit thing was amazing. It's so comfy. I did get it in an extra large because honestly I thought this was going to be like a super tiny tight thing. Um, I could probably have gone down to a large but... I kind of like that it's so like big and loose and comfy and good for everyday wear so it does have that open piece at the front where it knots and then it has a keyhole in the back as well and the shorts actually aren't super short which I love I thought they were gonna be like up my butt crack and they weren't which is amazing this top was so freaking cute I couldn't really decide if it was supposed to be off the shoulder or if it was supposed to be like cap sleeves or not I think it looks cute either way so I'm not mad at it but I love the detail on the neckline and how it like frames my body. It's nice and cropped so it just looks super cute on and looks great with jeans. I really need a pair of like white cropped jeans to go with this top because that would look so freaking cute. Okay, so that is everything that I tried on today for the new Wild Fable line. I hope you guys liked today's video. I hope you like this kind of video rather than just like me buying a whole bunch of stuff and bringing it home. You know, it's a little bit different but I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think of the line down below. I think there are definitely some like really cool, awesome pieces that there's still like a ton more for me to look at. But then there were also some pieces that were like I wasn't really a fan of or the way they sat on my body or just like the material, like the jeans. The jeans were just not great material. They were very, very thin. And I feel like Target has other brands that have really great jeans, especially since they're carrying Levi's now. Like, I don't feel like I would spend 20 bucks on those, you know? But definitely some hits, definitely some misses, and that's just how it goes sometimes. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you guys liked today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!